I believe that it was more than just a game. It was the turning point when I realized what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. It was a simple enough setting for the football game. The number two seed Kansas Jayhawks were squaring off against their hated rival, the number four Missouri Tigers, for bragging rights. Besides the bragging rights, the winner would have a chance to win the Big 12 championship and maybe even play in the national championship. The mood was electric, the fans were wild, and the chance for glory was within reach. Most football fans will remember it as the night Mizzou clinched the number one spot in the college rankings and won the Big 12 North. As the clock ticked down, excited fans screamed at the top of their lungs and partied like it was New Year's Eve. I think of it as the night my love for sports journalism was truly defined. After three years in the Missouri School of Journalism, my idea of making journalism a career was fading fast. The grind and the unpredictable schedule made me think I would never be good enough and that I never wanted to be that busy. It just wasn't fun at all. So I went to my support system, which consisted of my closest friends and family. Everyone told me the same thing. You have to follow your heart, and you have to make the decision for yourself. To me, that decision was a different career. But as I sat at Arrowhead Stadium that night and watched Mizzou's lead quickly disappear, I soon realized that the outcome did not matter. It was the experience that was making me so happy. Leading up to the game, the only thing that was important to me was that Mizzou won. That all changed when I realized that win or lose, being in this moment, is something that I want to feel for the rest of my life. And the gateway to that was journalism. I believe in that moment, when the sky is the limit. We've all had that moment in our lives at some point or another that we never wanted to end. Maybe it was our first kiss the last day of school, or in my case, the realization that I was destined to cover sports for the rest of my life. And as I stood there and watched the final seconds tick off the clock, a smile slowly crept on my face as I watched everyone else celebrate and I just stood there. I just stood there and took it all in as goosebumps sprouted out all over my arms. I never wanted to leave, but that's life. All good things must come to an end. My plan is to never let that feeling leave my grasp. I have recommitted myself to the field of journalism and the reason why I came to Mizzou. I believe that as long as I am a journalist and continue to push myself to my limits, I can have that experience again one day. I can be a sports journalist and actually say that I have fun in my job. Hopefully, one day I'll be sitting up in the press box watching a historic game unfold in front of my eyes and once again be in that moment.